Right then, so we are today and we're going to upgrade the memory or we're going to install some extra memory to a PS5, PlayStation 5. And uh, we're installing a WD Black SN 850 SSD game drive with heatsink. And it is a one terabyte game drive. So we're going to upgrade the PS5 memory to add on one terabyte. I think you can get up to uh, two terabytes with these um, internal game drives. So as you can see there, I just pulled off the lid. It looked a bit brutal there, but I was actually quite careful. What you need to do is lift up the end, uh, which is sort of diagonal to the game drive, and lift it up a little bit and then pull back. And uh, the uh, lid should come off. But go careful, of course, because you don't want to break anything. So now we're on to the, uh, the panel bit. We're just taking off the panel to where um, the game drive is going to sit into. And uh, there's four uh, screws or screws, available screw holes for different sized game drives. So in this uh, video, as you can see, we've got the WD Black one terabyte there. And that sort of sits in the hole, which is, I think, is the first hole. But I'll show you in a minute, you'll see a screw which stores the screw at the top. You can see I'm pointing with the screwdriver there. You take that screw out with the washer, the little spacer washer, and we're going to put it in that first hole. Look, I'm pointing at the where the, stores, uh, the screw's stored, and we're going to put it in that first available hole just underneath where I'm unscrewing that screw there. So like I say, different size game drives will uh, be situated with the uh, different holes. Um available there inside that PS5 area. So there we are, they got the um, the washer, the space of washer. So we've put it in the hole that we need need for this particular game drive, hard drive, game drive, whatever you want to call it. And of course this one, this comes with a heat sink. Um, different game drives will uh, vary of course. So there we are, we're situating the, the game drive there. You just plug it into the the plug, do it carefully, and that, that's on top of the uh, washer, which is said, and now we're just screwing it in place. Don't screw it in too hard, just just enough. Kind of finger tight, if that makes any sense. Don't overdo it. And uh, so that's job done. That's the, that's the uh, drive mounted. Now what we need to do is put the cover back on. The cover which goes on top of the drive and then the then the main cover uh, to house the, the whole thing. And like I say, go careful with these things. The the um you might have a little bit of difficulty getting the main cover off the plastic outer main body cover, um if you're not used to it. But uh just go careful and it will just slide off. And then when you slide it back on, just make sure all the little pins all line up so that you can just slide it back in place so yeah just it's, it's just a very straightforward job this job only took about five minutes to install the the hard drive and you'll see once you open the the compartment up all the different locations for the different drives and how you screw it in as long as you got the you unscrew that uh screw with the spacer saddle the spacer saddle goes underneath the, the drive and then plug your drive in and then just screw in the drive to secure it in place. So it, it probably saw at the beginning of this video, I, I actually mount my um, PS5 horizontally. So I use that bracket that they supply. So I'm just putting that back in place. And uh, so now we can just go and test it out. I picked the wrong time of the day to um, do the screen bit because as you can see the sun's shining there but this is a relatively straightforward process just uh, turn on your ps5 um and all you need to do is just press format your card in this case format m.2 ssd card uh, just wait for a little bit press ok and uh, off you go also before installing your um game drive make sure that you've updated your system and all that sort of thing before switching the ps5 off to install your card or game drive 
So now I'm just going to have a look in the PS5. Just to, so we're going to go to storage, and we're going to have to. We're just going to check to see that everything's installed as it should be. So settings, storage. You just probably make it out there. And there we are. We've got it listed there. You can just see at the top. It's got like the the game. Yeah, the storage that it came, the game storage, and then the M.2 SSD storage. So we're looking in uh, the game storage, and you can see I've got some games there. And what we're going to do, this is easy. This is, um, I'm going backwards and forwards here, but basically if you want to transfer your existing games on the PS5 storage to your new storage, all you need to do is uh, highlight onto the game, press move, and that's it. It just just transfers the game from the game storage from the PS5 storage to your new storage, and that's it. Job done. You'll have to wait a little bit for it to transfer over there. It's transferring over there. I just sped that up a little bit as well. I think it took 10, 15 minutes. It might be less than that. But anyway, sped the video up so you don't have to wait about. And uh, that's pretty much it. So there we are. So. In this video, um, this we, we obviously installed the I installed the WD Black, so Western Digital uh, game drive and heatsink. This one came with a heatsink built into it. SN850 SSD, and so the uh, the basic principle will apply to whatever your whatever game drive you are installing to your PS5, as long as it's obviously compatible with the PS5. And that's it. So um, I hope that video helped anybody out. And uh, so I just thought I'd give um, Ratchet and Clank a blast. Bloody brilliant game. Love this game. Forgot how to play it. Um, I've actually completed this game and uh, but I've forgotten the uh, controls because there you can see there's like a little vortex thing there. Uh, usually you get like a little highlight thing to come up to tell you which button to press but I forgot which press uh, button to press. Maybe I wasn't getting uh, close enough to him, but uh, anyway, fail. Anyway, I'm babbling on a bit, aren't I? So, um, like I say, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great day or great evening, wherever you are. Cheers, then. Over and out for now.